Hey guys, coming at you live from Manitoulin Island, the largest freshwater island in the world. I'm here for work. It's May, the summer weather is nearly upon us. And when was our last chat? Yeah, March 20th. Has it been that long? Somehow, yes. Well, we're due for an update then. Let's do it, let's do it. Why don't you come join? So, as you probably remember, I live and work in Northern Ontario. We're based here primarily for now while my wife, Stephanie, does her residency in family medicine. She's off doing her pediatrics rotation somewhere, busy, busy as usual. Life, since we last talked, has been a combination of work and travel. It's been busy, it's been awesome. My wife and I just got back from a little trip to the Bahamas where we had some quality time. I gotta give a massive shout out to my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law for looking after our dogs while we've been off working and playing. Thank you guys so much for doing that. It really frees us up to be able to get that quality time in and do what we need to do. Big shout out to you guys. Work has been largely me on the road, moving between a number of different communities, uh, working largely ER, some clinic, some hospital work. The shifts for ER have ranged from 10 hours on the low end to 48 hours on the high end. I haven't done anything beyond 48 hours since that last 120 hours on call which you can go back and look at the videos for that if you feel motivated. It's been good, it's been busy, but lots of work, for sure. I've been getting a lot of questions about my training and how that's been going since Florida. I'm happy to report that I'm back on track. Things are going really well. Slowly building back up my endurance, um, building back up a little bit of intensity, but mostly endurance at this stage, just trying to get that consistent training schedule back underway, and that's been going super well. Unfortunately, an injury that started off in Florida with a hamstring problem, continued uh, when I got back. My hamstring was causing all kinds of grief. Um, this progressed to eventually be tendinopathy in my foot, which caused pretty significant pain. I was walking around with a bit of a limp for a while, wasn't able to run. That progressed to an Achilles tendinopathy, which affected my riding. There was just a ton of time where I was just spent constantly nursing injuries, which really slowed up my training for the run and the ride. Hopefully it hasn't undone too much of my progress that I made in Florida, but I'm back on track now. The good news out of all this is that it's really highlighted some deficiencies in terms of like the ongoing maintenance. I was getting away with not really stretching or foam rolling or doing a whole lot of recovery stuff, which is stupid, um, but that's what I was doing. And so I've got on track now with a good schedule and I'm doing all that good maintenance work and feeling pretty good. So it's gonna be really important that I keep a, a solid consistent schedule both in terms of training but also in terms of that maintenance recovery stuff because I was ignoring that before and I really ran into trouble so don't be like me stretch foam roll take care of yourself definitely but back on track now in terms of riding and uh, running and like I said just trying to build up some endurance and get back into a consistent training schedule get back on track swimming though that's been going really well I didn't really have to slow that up at all of course 
As you know, the big challenge for me up here is getting access to a pool during these cold months. The drive for me is typically an hour to 40 minutes or so, regardless of where I am, at least to get to the pool. That's not crazy, but it just between work and everything, you really have to have some time to dedicate to do it. That all being said, I've been able to get in, you know, typically two or so swims per week. That's been going really well, feeling great in the water. I've got a good group of guys here that I've been swimming with, uh, swimming a lot with uh, my friend Chris, based here in, in Manitoulin. The lakes are almost warm enough. We're going to be getting in there, and that's going to be a ton of fun. You're going to meet Chris, I'm sure, at some point here, and um, yeah, we're going to be training together a lot this summer so that's gonna be awesome i'm getting a lot of questions too about my race schedule for this year it hasn't changed my first race of the year is iron man 70.3 mont tremblant which is next month it's actually about a month away obviously my training being hampered with injury has really left me probably not at my best and not likely to perform at my best that being said i'm still planning on racing i'm still planning on participating you know my team is going to be there there's a pretty good cohort of people going my friends are going to be racing I want to be a part of it, definitely. And so while I don't have a ton of expectations around my performance, I think it's reasonable to assume that that day could be a very good training day. Get back into the groove of things, you know, in terms of racing, transitioning, and just participating. I think my goal for that day will be that it will be a good training day. And so not any big expectations in terms of my performance. Likely my performance will be poor. That's okay. I still want to participate. Still want to have fun. Still want to get out there and work hard. And um, I think it'll be a good day to boost fitness, despite my performance being poor. So Iron Man 70.3 Mont Tremblant next month. That's first on the docket. After that, I've got an Xterra off-road sprint triathlon. It's super short. Um, I've never done an off-road triathlon, so that should be fun. It's still, you know, a lake swim, which is not new to me by any stretch. It's a mountain bike ride, which I don't do much mountain biking, so that should be interesting. It's not altogether that technical as far as I know. Pretty short, I think it's like 13K or something like that. I'll need to find a mountain bike, I don't have one. And then it's a trail run, which is always fun. So that's kind of the combo um, for that race. That's it. not until July. Next up after that is gonna be the Shark Fest Swim in San Francisco. I'm doing with a buddy from med school. Should be really fun. They take you out on a boat, drop you right at Alcatraz Island in the San Francisco Bay, and you swim to shore. So they call it Shark Fest because I guess there's a lot of sharks in the San Francisco Bay. I don't know. I've never been there. Uh, it should be pretty fun. It's going to be a quick trip out to, to do the race and then back. So should be interesting. Next up after that is going to be Ironman 70.3 Atlantic City. That one's going to be a ton of fun. That's the race that I want to PB at. I want to get my personal best. Like I said, in one of my earlier videos on my goals for this year, you know that my personal best right now, I think is like five hours, 46 minutes. It was in Bahrain, a uh, similar course in, in that it was a saltwater swim and then a flat bike course and a flat run course. I'm hoping my fitness will be good enough that I will actually be able to have a personal best at that race. That's what I'm shooting for. September, Atlantic City, half Ironman. It's going to be sweet. So, as you can see, the fall is really where things are getting interesting. Hoping to PB at that half Ironman. I may not PB at that half Ironman, that's okay, but I'm gonna shoot for that, that's the goal. Um, October, me and Chris, my buddy from here in Manitoulin, we're gonna do a, that 10K swim, it's called Round the Sound, it's in Bermuda, it's an ocean swim. That's gonna be sweet, that's gonna be a tough one. We're training for that already, training is going well. It's gonna be heavy duty. We're gonna have some good training days that I'm gonna share with you as well, but October, Bermuda, Round the Sound, 10K ocean swim, that's gonna be a ton of fun. And then of course I did get a spot for the New York City Marathon. Huge, 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 can't wait. I've never done a marathon outside of an Ironman, so this is gonna be my first one like that. I wanna run the whole thing, I wanna enjoy it. It's gonna be hard. I hear great things about the New York City run course. I'm super excited about it. So November, New York City Marathon, can't wait. So there's a lot of good stuff coming this year. Obviously, it's gonna be really important that I am healthy and fit and injury free so that I can train and tolerate all this and then be able to participate. That's gonna happen. I'm working on it. I'm doing it. I feel motivated. I feel optimistic. I feel pumped. So lots coming this year. It's gonna be great. Sprinkled in between all these things, I've got some really great like gravel rides. You know about the Simcoe County Trail Loop. Gonna do that again at some point. I'm gonna go out and visit my buddy in Alberta. We're gonna do some pretty awesome gravel riding out there as well. I'm just super pumped. Lots going on. Lots on the agenda. And, uh, stoked to share it with you. Last but not least, I want to take a few minutes and just say a few words about this channel, my plans, intentions, what the future holds. I miss vlogging. I miss the daily vlog. I think if I wasn't working as a medical doctor, I could probably pull that off. The amount of time that it takes, it's just so consuming. There's no way that I can do that. I love daily vlogging because it's honest. It's genuine. You only have that one day's worth of material to gather and used to construct a story and tell a story and be creative with. It's immensely challenging because as you saw, some days are more boring than others. Some days are more interesting than others, but it's genuine, it's real. The more time 
that you spend collecting material, the more opportunity that you have to select and curate and you know decide what you're willing to share. So I think it becomes a little bit less authentic. That being said, I, I just don't have the time to do daily vlogging. It doesn't it doesn't fit with my current life and my current life, despite it being uh, an immense amount of fun. So I'm going to shoot for weekly vlogging or weekly videos. So my plan and what I'd like to do is attempt to post a video per week. Some of them will be vlog format. Some of them will be adventures. Some of them will be mostly around training or gravel riding, lots of triathlon content probably, and just fun stuff, hopefully all fun. And that's what I'm gonna shoot for. So this, it will be the first in that series. I'll do my best to keep it as authentic as I can, as real as I can. I wanna tell stories, I wanna be creative, like I said before, and now I just feel energy is building. We're moving into the summer months. This spring hiatus is over. Moving through injuries, I'm so motivated, I'm so excited, and I can't wait to share so much with you. So it should be really fun, and I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching. Thanks to everyone for following along. If you haven't subscribed and you want to follow along, please do consider subscribing. And yeah, let's see where it goes. Since my last vlog update on March 20th, you've probably noticed, if you've paid attention to my channel, a lot of kind of goofy and hilarious short content. I probably will still continue to do that, especially the videos that I'm making with my brother. It's a ton of fun, it's, it's creative, it's hilarious. My brother is a laugh riot. It's so much fun. So probably that weird stuff, hot dog content, Donnie from Craigslist, all that weird stuff is probably gonna keep going. Brace yourselves is all I can say. I'm having fun. So, you know, it's all about that. It's about being creative and having fun and expressing and doing that whole thing. So probably just gonna keep doing that too. So yeah, thanks for tuning in.